prime there, sucking in air. The tub isn't actually big enough, it's aerating and pushing air back into the jet drive. It'll run smoother when it's out on the pond. Power busters in there, don't we? Okay. Got 54 on the capacitors on the ESC 59, 61, 65, 67. I've got 47s, 46. Seems to be the motor wires now, which are getting a bit self state. 73 uh, The decimal point changes on the uh, meter once it gets over 4 again. As it goes over the 40, it'll say overload and then it recalibrates moving the decimal point. It's going over, there you go, we've got 47 amp now. And throwing the brick about. 50 amp. I think the motor wires are going to be well over into the hundreds. Big caps, there's caps on the in they're very good at 70s. Giving the amount of juice we've just been giving it. Big caps, 73, 71, 70s. 
and the nightmare at eighties. Yeah, it's in the eighties again. Nineties are caught there. Okay. Right now, what I'm going to suggest is that that motor is 128 amps. So putting 90, 80 amps in it. Everything seems to stay around that temperature, but given the load that the jet drive's producing, I think we're finding uh, its limit. So we'll have to derate it and probably uh, set my endpoint throttles on my uh, transmitter so that we only hit about 70, 80, maybe 90 amps. I don't know, I could be going too fast. Anyway, I'm gonna take it out. I might not have to set the end point. I might just be going ballistic. I don't know. maybe about 100 amp there. so that's I'm going to call it a day we're going to call it a day and set this up and see what it goes I don't think I'm going to get much more out of 120 amp ESC ok I've jumped to 76 there 76, 75 big fellas 74 Motor wires off the record. No, not bad this time. 69, 66, 77s, 75s. Alright, that is us. Okay then. Yeah, I think it's a solid little setup, but we don't know till we take it out. Dan Dare at the end. Have a wonderful evening. Take it easy, kids. Toodaloo.